Hello, double upload today to see in one video what's new about Grease Pencil in Blender 4.0 and in the other one the latest Grease Pencil 3.0 development news, some exciting new features and how you can already play with them. All the links mentioned in this video are in the description. The huge Grease Pencil 3.0 upgrade was supposed to be fully operational on Blender 4.0, but the estimate was over optimistic and the development is still in a very early stage. If you don't know about it, I already talked about the goals of this project and most of what is planned in it in my previous Grease Pencil 3.0 video. Today we'll focus on testing the experimental features that were implemented and some changes in the plans since the project was announced. Before we start, let me tell you about my free beginner friend grease pencil course in which you can learn the basics of drawing, rigging and animation. The course is made of several parts and the link to the playlist is in the description. Layers UI. The layers panel now supports drag and drop and grouping layers in folders to help organize layers and allow locking or hiding a group of layers with just one click. More functionality will be added as the project advances. Improved eraser. The eraser's point mode was implemented. Previously the eraser worked by deleting points but now now it cuts the strokes, meaning that it removes points that are inside the eraser's radius while adding points where the eraser's edge meets strokes. This makes it more precise, especially on strokes that have less points. Let's try it on these crossing lines. With the old system you see how irregular the erased area is, and some lines were untouched because the eraser didn't find a point to delete. With the new system it's much smoother as you can see. It even keeps the same strokes thickness and opacity at the edge of the eraser. The only issue for now are the cuts not following the direction of the eraser, creating these irregularities visible on thicker strokes. And this should be solved later. New Onion. The current Grease Pencil Onion skinning system system is good for frame per frame animation, but it ignores transformations done in object mode or using an armature. The initial plan was to upgrade the Grease Pencil system, but now even 3D artists want onion skinning for 3D animations. So instead of being a Grease Pencil feature, the new so-called Gostin system will support all kinds of Blender objects. This will be very useful for animations combining Grease Pencil with other 3D elements. The main Grease Pencil 3.0 developer Falk David designed a prototype for Gostin, but since it's no part of the GP3 project, which is the priority now, it may be some time before we can see or test a functional version. Geo Nodes Geometry Nodes support wasn't supposed to land until after Grease Pencil 3.0 is released, but the Blender Studio wanted to use GP3 in their next movie and one requirement for the team was integration with Geo Nodes. This led to an early start in development, and here you can see a prototype in which Grease Pencil strokes were converted to curves, meshed, then UV unwrapped and textured. Early GeoNode support could mean that some of the current Grease Pencil modifiers will be recreated as GeoNode group assets that ship with Blender just like the hair nodes. In this demo, for example, we see what a Geo-powered noise modifier may look like. And in this one, you see how a node tree is saved as an asset, then applied to a new Grease Pencil object. Many nodes were already added and people started already to play with them. The setup binds Grease Pencil to the surface of a mesh. This one controls strokes thickness using a graph. These are Grease Pencil strokes cast in shadow after converting them procedurally to meshes. And this is an LOD or level of detail modifier that reduces the number of points of a Grease Pencil object the further it is from the camera to reduce the workload needed for viewing and rendering. I recreated for you some of those GeoNode setups to download for free from my Gumroad. If you want to play with them and the other features and maybe report some bugs, first download Blender 4.1 Alpha from the daily releases page, enable developer extras and their interface, then Grease Pencil 3 and their experimental, add a new Grease Pencil object and that's it. If you want to convert a GP2 object to GP3, press F3, type convert, choose convert to, then grease pencil. Or in object mode, open the object menu, convert, grease pencil. This is it, thanks for watching, leave a like, subscribe, see you in another video and peace.